One of the things that I learned is that leaders are not afraid to face reality. But sometimes we fail to see reality. And when that happens is because of some reasons. And one of them is because we surround ourselves with people just like us. People that support our point of view. People that, you know, are with the same background, the same perspective. So in that case, we all have the same strengths, but also we all have the same challenges and, and the same blind spots. So it's impossible for us to have a realistic picture of, of, you know, of the situation if we only have one perspective. The second reason why is because leaders sometimes apply selective hearing. So they only want to hear the things that support their point of view and support their strategy, and they don't want to hear things that are not in alignment with that. So that's a dangerous situation. That's a dangerous, um, you know, strategy. And, and then uh, another point is that leaders sometimes have what we call to be wishful thinking. You know, they wish things were different. They wish things will, you know, would just solve themselves, or or we wish this has not happened. But the reality is that, you know. It has happened, so we have to deal with it. And then another reason why readers sometimes, you know, fail to see reality and face reality is because of fear. You know, they're afraid of the consequences. They're afraid of being contradicted. They're afraid of being challenged. And so sometimes we just, you know, we pretend that we don't see things. But all of these different things contribute to a leader not serving their team and their organization to the highest level that they could. Because they don't see a real, realistic picture of the, of the reality of the situation, what happens is that their plans of action would not be adapted to the situation. So be aware of these things and try to stay away of them.